One of the things that I uh, had the opportunity to do yesterday afternoon while I was here is to uh, have a conversation with the uh, committee of uh, chairs um, where we talked in particular about the um, initiatives we've undertaken at Princeton to try to control uh, grade inflation through a university-wide grading uh, policy. And at the end of my presentation, I had the chance to hear Provost, about to be interim president, Fault, talk about the year of the arts at uh, Dartmouth. And I was struck by the commonalities in what Dartmouth is seeking to do, what Princeton has been doing, what I know Harvard is doing um, in terms of the creative and performing arts. What binds all of our institutions together is a recognition that uh, making art, performing art, learning to appreciate art uh, is a critical part of the education of all of our uh, students and that institutions like Dartmouth, like Princeton, like Harvard um, have uh, a major contribution to make uh, both in educating uh, students in the arts, in producing graduates who will be informed citizens, uh, connoisseurs of the arts, patrons of the arts, uh, supporters of the arts, but also where uh, we, will, we will produce uh, great novelists, poets, uh, dancers, uh, just as we produce uh, governmental leaders, financial uh, leaders uh, in this country and around the world. And many of these will be students who came to our institutions interested already in the arts as a result of their experience in high school. But many of them will be students who have never imagined writing a short story or writing a poem or dancing uh, before they entered uh, our universities. And the learning that goes on uh, for them uh, in being exposed to the creative and performing arts um, is an extraordinary uh, part of the mission that we have uh, as institutions of higher education.